Hey Wizarding World, Anna and Mortentia here. So I did something really fun today. I went to a, a market today of oddities and curiosities that was held in Longwood, which is one of the suburbs outside of Orlando. And it was really cool. We had all these people with uh, just little booths set up at, the, uh, at a brewery and the brewery was open so you could go inside and get a beer. I walked around and uh, perused the shops. A lot of it was uh, skeletons and taxidermied animals and like there was there was this booth that I really liked that um, made a jackalope. I actually had a couple jackalopes so you know the bunnies with antlers. Really amused by them and they were really pretty and like everything was really well done. There were also like crystal shops and there were, there was a person that had really cute pins and like there was a clothes, there were a couple clothing people that one did like a whole bunch of acid wash. There was a lady that thrifts sh shirts and then she uh, screen prints her designs on them. So like they all have the same couple designs printed on them, but all the shirts are different. So like just really cool things and you know, everything was weird and odd and like it was amazing seeing everybody walking around because there were so many goths. It made me so happy. It was like my little early 2000s heart was going pitter patter and going, these are my people. This is what I dressed like when I was in high school. <laughs> it was great. It was so great. Um, and I wore this. So like I had my witch hat on with my, with my flowers and I did my, I painted my little moon on and wore my black lipstick and had a ball. I got a lot of compliments on my hat and my makeup, so yeah, yes. So um, I thought I'd share with you guys the things that I got. The first thing I spent money on was a tarot card reading. There was a lady doing tarot cards and uh, I had her do a reading and it was actually really insightful and really great. I mean, I'm not going to tell you guys everything. I honestly don't remember every single thing that she said, but like the general vibe of it was like, you know, you're healing. There's things that you are, things that have happened to you in your past that you're trying to overcome. You know, you're kind of stuck at work. You know, you're, you're looking to uh, grow and, and progress. And, you know, you're trying to find this balance between like your responsibilities and wanting to be you. And like, how true is that? am and then she was talking about things with relationships and like how I just need to let go and like I've had a couple crappy relationships in the past and as much as as much as people like to say that you know they moved on and they've let go sometimes we don't I'm really good at bottling things up and 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 putting them on a shelf and forgetting about them a lot of things really touched on a whole bunch of stuff in my life that like I've just kind of tucked away and put it on a shelf and just haven't dealt with it and not that any of that is impeding my relationship with Zach but a lot of it was just really eye-opening for me to be happy and move on as a person as myself to be happier and and a better person you know in my own life and it was really great and I really enjoyed it and it was fantastic yeah we went out to uh, one of the tables out front in that outside area and it's called the Belladonna Apothecary and it was this really cool lady who makes a whole bunch of custom, not custom, but a whole bunch of like original scents and so uh, she made candles and uh, like essential oils and beard oils and, and soap. And so uh, the candles were 15, the oils were 15, it's a little roller oil. I hope, I hope it, I hope it's not too strong for Zach, cause Zach is, Zach is really sensitive to scents. Anyway, uh, the roller was 15 and the bar of soap was eight, or you could get all three of them for $30. And I wanted the candle and the roller, and so I was like, oh, I might as well get the bar of soap for free cause it's already up to $30. So uh, yeah, I got the candle, the, the roller, and the soap all in the scent of Calypso, which was their mermaid inspired scent. It's really, it's a very, uh, it's not super like floral sweet or like sugar sweet, but like it 
has a sweet side to it, but it's also really beachy smelling, like salt water and clean ocean air and it's just a really nice clean smell that reminds me of going to the beach, hence, you know, Calypso and the mermaid. There was uh, a couple that does coffee and it's all like super cool and nerd themed and has different flavors and um, Robbie, Zach's dad, is a big coffee drinker so uh, I picked this up for him. This one is the Wood Baby Blend. It's a magical mixture of chocolate and caramel. Robbie loves chocolate flavored coffee. So I asked them, I was like, he loves coffee and chocolate and which one do you recommend? Because there was also a chocolate mint one. I don't think I've ever seen Robbie eat anything that's chocolate and mint. So he said that this was probably the best one for him. So I picked this up and we're gonna see if he likes it. So I was at this girl's booth and it was amazing. And uh, she had a whole bunch of nerd stuff as well as like she had crystals on necklaces and this and that and, and rocks and a couple bones on necklaces. And it was just really, really cool. But then she had these uh, temporary tattoos and a whole bunch of stickers and they were all super cute and nerdy and witchy and I just loved them. So I bought, I got a Hufflepuff sticker which I loved. I think it's so cute. I got Luna's Spectre Specs, which we all know how much I love my girl Luna. She is my favorite female character. There's the Flying Key. There's a cauldron with the potion spilling out. How cute. There is the Deathly Hallows with the elder wand in the middle and the flowers. I just thought that was such a pretty, she also had a more simpler design of the Deathly Hallows, but I really liked that one. And all of these, the, the Hufflepuff sticker was more expensive, but all the other ones were like the same price for whichever one you wanted. And then there's a cute Hogwarts letter. And here's your cute little mushroom. Also had a couple different like organic and natural balms that she makes all herself. Um, this one I got for Zach because um, Zach has been diagnosed with uh, rheumatoid arthritis because he's a dancer and he's broken his body too many times. <laughs> Sad but true. So um, this one is was formulated for arthritis relief. So uh, when he gets home from work today, if he's hurting anywhere, I'm, usually it's his ankles because it's in, mostly in his ankles and his feet. So uh, we will try that. And the last thing I got at the event today, at the cute little pin booth, I bought a Hufflepuff pin, cute little vintage with the diamonds. It has a black, a gray, and a yellow one with some stars, and a advanced potion making one that looks just like the advanced potion making book that's in the movies. And I just thought they were super cute, and it was two for 15, which is a lot better than Disney priced pins. So uh, I got those. On my way home, I stopped by my boba tea place right by my house and I got some uh, taro milk tea with boba because God, I love taro milk tea. It's great. It's so tasty. And then we have a comic book shop like right next to the bubble tea place. So I popped in there and just seeing if they had anything new. A while ago, I got the uh, DC bombshell, the mystery boxes where you don't know what's in them, and I got Poison Ivy, who, I mean, I love me some Poison Ivy, and she's my girl Harley's girlfriend, so I thought that was really surprising and appropriate that I got her, and then um, my comic book store had two boxes of these left, so I was like, you know what? let's get them, let's see who we get, maybe I'll give my girl Harley, I don't know, so we, uh, I got my two boxes. The first one I opened was Batgirl. Look how cute she is. She's not my favorite, but she's really cute. Um, yeah. I'm not displeased with her. She's super cute. She doesn't light a fire under my butt or anything, but she's cute. She's cute, I like her. Then I opened my second box. So cute! I love her so much! 
I have to say, out of all the DC pinups, the bombshells, um, Harley's design is absolutely my favorite. It's not just because Harley's my favorite. She's so cute. I love her. I want to get in really good shape and cosplay her because, um, yeah, because she's adorable. Ah, just look at how cute. Mm, I'm so happy. So now I can put my little, uh, my little lesbian lovers together and they can just hang out on the shelf together and poor Batgirl can just watch awkwardly. I just uh, peeled some old stickers off of my laptop that I had gotten back when I was in an old relationship and as much as I really liked the stickers because they were some cute little butterflies, uh, after my tarot card reading I was like, you know what, let's just, let's let everything go. And let's start anew. So, um, yeah, let's let's decorate my laptop with my new stickers. So, got my laptop. It still has a little bit of residue from my old stickers that I had on that I can't get off. But that's okay, because I just figured we can uh, put some new stickers over them. Okay, so we've got, we've got Hufflepuff. And we've got Luna and the keys and the mushroom, a letter, the hallows, and the cauldron. Okay, so we need to cover the old stickers. Maybe we could put the Hufflepuff one there. And we can always put Luna. No, I don't want to cover too much of the apple. Um. Maybe we can try putting the Hufflepuff one. That still covers a lot of it. Hmm, this is gonna be more difficult than I thought. Do I want the cauldron spilling? Do I want it upright? I don't know. This is, yeah, this is proving to be <laughs> more difficult than I thought it would be. I think, yeah, I think putting Luna's glasses over that one would be good. And sticking the Hufflepuff one over that one will be good. Um, Deathly Hallows with the glasses, maybe? The cauldron. And the mushroom. Those could hang out together, maybe. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Maybe there. The Hogwarts letter. Here. Here. Something like that? Yeah, I like that. That's not too bad. I really have the tattoo bug right now, by the way. Like, it's really bad. I do not have the money after going to Europe for a new tattoo. But I want one. Especially after going to that, uh, fun event today. I, uh, do we want it that way? And we gotta cover up the old butterfly. Right, let's put that right there. That's pretty. That's the nice thing about Harry Potter stickers is Harry Potter will always be me no matter who I date or, you know, obviously I'm marrying Zach, but like, I've never, not that you should ever let anyone you date ruin anything for you, but like, Harry Potter's always been there for me, and no one will ever ruin it for me, whether you're a person that I date, or a friend, or, yeah, nothing, nothing can ruin Harry Potter for me. So, I know nothing will ever, ever happen with any of that. Got a cover. I thought I got a witch hat, too, sticker. Did I? I thought I did. Did I lose it? I don't remember. It will be fine. It will be fine. There were the, yeah, there were these really cute little witch hat stickers and I didn't get one and I'm kind of sad. <laughs> Maybe I did and I lost it. I don't know. Oh, that's cute. Yep, 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 that was a good choice. Let's put the flying key down. I keep getting fingerprints on here and I literally just cleaned this thing and like wiped it down with sanitizing wipes so like I'd have a nice clean fresh laptop 
to work on. I tried to get all the old sticker residue off and that's what I got. That's what I got. And right, let's put that right there. All right. Nice new fresh restarted laptop. Look at that. Cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, guys, thank you for seeing all the fun things that I got on my trip to the Market of Oddities and Curiosities. And uh, I hope you had fun decorating my laptop with me. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and ring that bell if you want all the notifications. And I will see you all next time. Bye! <coughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm.